What's going down? It's yours truly. You already know. Hey, so I know y'all saw that vlog. Last week. I know you saw the judge show up and show out. <laughs> Alan had no chance. No chance. Because we are as advertised. Your boy picked up the W. As advertised. This right here. I'm telling y'all, this ain't decoration. This is real. Real. And now, today we got leg day. My favorite day. We just left the AEW training center. So my legs are a little, you know, they're a little sore because we got after it. Shout out to the boys up there. We got some solid work. But, you know, job ain't done. So we got legs today. So let's get it. The key with box squats is uh, when you go down, I don't like to just stop on the bottom. A lot of people say, hey, stop on the bottom. I lightly tap it and I explode up. I'm driving through my heels, through my knees and my glutes, keeping everything tight, core is tight, chest in, I mean chest up. And I'm driving through, I like to get about um, eight to 10 reps. Um, we got 225, oh, we got, oh, we're warming up right now, but I build up to about maybe three plates, depending on how I'm feeling. You know, we did a ring today, so I don't know if we'll get there, but on a good day, we get, we'll probably end it at like a set of 385 for six or seven. But um, this is how I protect my knees, protect my lower back, and also remain explosive. If you don't work, you don't eat. You don't eat, you don't grind. You don't grind, you don't shine. Come down. I do work. I'd be underestimating how hard I go in practice. And then coming in here, that was no joke. But that is a lot of weight too. 365. 350, 365, boy. Get your grandma off my back. Woo! All right, here we go, we just getting started, baby. Leg day is my favorite. I get that's where you know where the warriors will be at. I don't want to hear, oh man, I can't do leg, my leg hurts. Go to Walmart, go to aisle three, and get you that cream, Vagisil. <laughs> and rub it on your quads. Quads. 
feel what you're talking about now. Oh, you on the big walk, huh? All right, get your ass over here. I don't think you did. No. LeBron's the GOAT, by the way. Anybody who's watching, yo, appreciate the greatness that we're in right now. LeBron James is the GOAT, okay? All you Jordan fans, I get it. I get it, bro. You guys, just make sure y'all are uh, doing, doing your facial moisturizer and everything because you guys are getting old, okay? LeBron is now. My man is pushing 40, dropping buckets. Okay, buckets, it's in the new standard, but I digress. But anyway, yeah, I'm a leaper, and it helps me in the ring because it's hard to get that gather step or jump with two, so I do a lot of stuff on one foot and I'm able to get explosive with that first initial step. So that's why I train the way I play, I train the way I fight, I train the way I move. in the corner when oh, you see me going to it. Hey, this is, what, this is what I'm putting on you. Four plates right on your chest. Right there, boy. Take this damn water. 
We gotta we gotta throw this this little this little plug in though for dark sport with the with the tough tank, man. Got got that chrome heart vibe to it. I kind of I like it. Silver regime dark sport. I'm gonna see y'all what December no April 27th. We'll be out there. We're gonna be out there fully strong. Shout out to my boys, yo, the Civil Brothers. We are real. We met, what, 2014, 2015, and still going strong. Hey, looming through the chaos all day. This whole thing, man. You never know the next day, yo. You just gotta take your daily bread, ask the Lord Jesus to help you get through each day, and he will give you your daily bread. And that's what we come through, looming through the chaos. Yo, I was a rose. They tried to bury me. But two things happens when things go on the ground. It's either you're dead or you bloom. And you're looking at a product of something that grew through the concrete. So we've got the super pendulum squat. This machine, I love it and I also hate it. Um, there's not much words you can say this. Just look at the thing. Look at the thing. I don't go super heavy on this because this, however, unlike everything else, it puts a lot of load on my knees, especially on the ankle, but it's great for the overall leg development. So I, I get it in even though I hate it. And that's how I know I need to do something. I don't like it, that means I probably need it. Panada machine to the next. You know what I'm saying? They got some good stuff. That bad, bad boy over there, that's a hammer strength. I like hammer strength. But Panada, hey, they ain't playing no game. Who, who brought his name in the script? Rudy? All right, Rudy. What is this, like an Italian company or something? It is, actually. It is? Yeah. Because you see like green, white, and red on all their machines. So they actually sponsor a bunch of um, like top NPC, you know, bodybuilders like Phil Heath and um Phil Heath's not NPC, he's IBB. My bad. I have to. I don't respect my boy Phil like that. Phil, I got you. What's up? Look, I already know what it comes to Phil, man. That's a that's a, like a seven, eight, nine time Mr. Olympia. I know. I get confused between the, the federations though for, for bodybuilding. Me and Phil, we go to IBB all day, man. Oh Ronnie Coleman's uh, with them too. Phil's probably one of the main reasons why I started competing. Phil, I know you remember back in Destination Dallas when we had that conversation. I ain't forget. I saw your movie. The movie you guys put out, the documentary. Keep doing your thing, Big Phil. All right, man. So, quick question. So, in your opinion, the the state of the state of bodybuilding in the bodybuilding world right now, mm -hmm. with all that's changing with social media, what's 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 your thoughts on it? I, went, I turned pro in 2017 and the sport has drastically changed. Like, what was it, 2014, 2013 was like the, the beginning of the Instagram era. And then bodybuilding, synonymous with social media, has just grown exponentially. I think now, 
it's obviously much easier to become a pro because they really got class C. They go all the way to class C. Top two get pro card. It wasn't like that when I got my pro, but there's a lot more talent now because there's more eyes on the product, there's more people. So because there's more people, it's more competitive. So competition drives greatness. So I like it. You know, everything has its pros and cons. I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, well, I had to struggle, so everybody else has to struggle. Mm -hmm. I think that's the stupidest mentality ever, yo. If someone's blessed and you're gifted and you have the natural ability to be successful, why not? Just because you struggle doesn't mean everybody else has to struggle. You know, everybody has their ups and downs. Everybody has their different paths, you know? So, as far as the state of bodybuilding, I think it's great, it's growing. I just wish they just started paying more. Let's be real now. You know, everybody that's a bodybuilder, whether you're NPC, IABB, you're a walking billboard for them. Walking billboard. The sooner you get that, the sooner you understand that concept, the better. They don't pay for no damn uh, commercials or nothing like that. It's you. So just know you gotta brand yourself, you gotta set yourself up to be successful and get what you deserve, get what you get what you are entitled to. And uh, you know your money. You know, he's put all this work in, he put all this time to build your physique. Bodybuilding is not there's no all 24-7, 365. So I think they should be paid accordingly. That's my take on it. If I do come back, I ain't telling none of y'all. I'm gonna show up and beat all y'all on stage. Just like I did when I was still doing it. But right now I'm a pro wrestler. And uh, that's what my concentration is right now is beating the hell out of these kids in the ring. But I always got love for my bodybuilders. You know what I'm saying? You guys are doing your thing. It's a hard life, yo. I tell people, if you want to do a sport that's 24-7, go step on stage. With that being said, let's eat some of this weight, baby! Exclusive dope content. You guys got to see behind the scenes. Last week with the wrestling match, I took you through my leg day today. You know what? We're just gonna keep coming with more. So make sure you guys like, subscribe. The link is down below. And as always, as advertised. Boom. Look at that, bro. That ain't free. That's hard work. God. I'm a different type of breed, yo. They know it's Judge Dallas, Texas, you know it's 214. Lights, camera, action, every time I hit the door. It hit a little bit different when I'm in my zone. I'm built for this. I'm a different type of breed, yo. They know it's Judge Dallas, Texas, you know it's 214. Lights, camera, action, every time I hit the door. It hit a little bit different when I'm in my zone. It hit a little bit different when I'm in my zone.